Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about 19th problem from triple column cash book topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about this topic. So previous videos links are available in the description box. This is triple column cash book. We can also call it as three column cash book. Otherwise, cash book with discount cash and bank columns all are same so even though we wrote cash book format is account format so debit side and the credit side debit side you have date column particulars lf number ledger folio number discount allowed cash and bank credit side also same only the difference is instead of discount allowed, discount received column. In this table, at a time we are going to prepare these two accounts, cash account and bank account. And discount column is a memorandum column. In previous problems, clearly explained about this memorandum column, discount column. As three amount columns we have for discount, cash and bank, this table is known as triple column cash book. In question, starting two sentences are there, no? cash at bank, cash in hand. These two are known as opening balances. So cash in hand means what? So this book is prepared by the firm. In firm's cash box, so the cash balance on the starting date of the month is known as cash in hand. This is an asset. So asset shows a debit balance, no? Therefore, opening cash balance, always we have to write on debit set. Second sentence is cash at bank. No. For bank, how he gave? Cash at bank in brackets DR, debit. So means this is also favorable bank balance. He is clearly saying that this is a debit balance. So debit bank balance means cash at bank. Means we have money in the bank. So this is also favorable bank balance. So debit side only we should show. And the remaining sentences are known as transactions. So to record the transactions in triple column cash book, there are two methods. First one is journal entries method. So for every transaction, there will be one journal entry. We should think that journal entry and that journal entry we should post in the triple column cash book. Second method is hints method. So in present video, I am going to explain this second method, hints method. See here, cash account, bank account we are preparing now. So cash account is a real account because cash means asset. No, what is real account rule? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So in firms books, we are preparing this book to the firm. If cash is coming, debit side cash column, we should write from the firm. If cash is going credit side cash column, we should write. So for cash column, remember this hint. Then for bank column. So we have money in our bank account. Because of a transaction, suppose our bank balance is increased. Assume that we deposited money into bank. So because of this transaction, bank balance increases now. When bank balance is increasing, David said bank column, we should write that. Suppose from bank account, we withdrew money. So from the bank, we are withdrawing the money. So bank balance decreases now. If bank balance decreases, credit side bank column, we should write the transaction. So for cash column, if cash is coming into the firm, debit side. If cash is going from the firm, credit side. For bank column, the hint is because of a transaction, if our bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column. If bank balance is decreasing, credit side bank column. So first opening balances we will write. 19th problem related question I have written on the board. 1st November 2018, cash in hand 10,000 rupees. Cash at bank, debit balance 5,000 rupees. Cash in hand is an asset. Cash at bank debit balance is also an asset. These two are opening balances now. As these two are assets, debit side we should write. First November 2018. For opening balances, you have to write two balance brought down. 
in cash column 10000 rupees in bank column 5000 rupees remaining what transactions so to write the transactions in triple column cash book what hints we are following if cash is coming into the firm debit side cash column from the firm if cash is going credit side cash column similarly because of a bank transaction if our bank balance is increasing debit side bank column if bank balance is decreasing credit side bank column sales 2500 what we sold nothing is given meaning yes we sold the goods and customer name is not given meaning we sold for cash so firm sold goods for cash so cash is coming goods are going cash is coming so debit said we should write fifth day 2500 rupees in cash column when goods are sold we should write to sales account next on 8th day purchases 1800 what we purchased no information meaning we purchased goods how we purchased supplies name is not given meaning we purchased for cash so we purchased goods from supplier for cash means goods are coming cash is going cash is going so credit said cash column no 8th date 1800 rupees 8th November 1800 rupees in cash column when goods are sold debit said we wrote sales word when goods are purchased credit said we should write purchases word buy purchases account 11th day received from Vineet 4800 discount allowed 200 from Vineet we have to receive 5000 rupees as a final settlement he has given 4800 rupees cash so 200 is discount allowed cash is coming into the firm so debit said cash column 11th date from Vineet we are receiving now two Vineet account in discount column discount allowed amount 200 rupees in cash column 4800 rupees next 60th date purchased the furniture for cash 3500 observe the difference on 8th date we purchased goods on 16th date we purchased furniture fixed asset for cash for purchased furniture and paid cash furniture is coming cash is going cash is going so credit said cash column no? 16th date 3500 in cash column when goods are purchased we wrote purchases word when any fixed asset is purchased like furniture missionary land building that fixed asset name we should write write down by furniture account next 19th day deposited into bank 6000 what we deposit into bank cash only no cash deposited into bank 6000 so when cash is deposited into bank when cash is withdrawn from bank these two are contra entries no two times we should write see first the amounts will observe cash we are depositing into bank from the firm cash is going so credit said cash column 19th day 6000 rupees credit said cash column in bank we are depositing this amount so bank balance increases no debit said bank column 19th day in particulars column what to write we wrote amount in bank column no so write it to cash account if you write amount in cash column here you have to write bank account and this is contra entry to indicate that in lf number column c letter we should write credit side in cash column we wrote the amount so here we have to write by bank account if we write the amount in bank column here you have to write cash this is contra entry no? in LF number column write down C till here completed continuation I have written here on 22nd day paid cartage transportation 400 rupees so from the firm cash is going credit side 22nd date by expenditure name we should write cartage cash is going now so in cash column 
400 rupees next 23rd day check issued to sudhir 3800 in full settlement of his account 4000 here discount is given indirectly so to sudhir we have to pay 4000 rupees as a final settlement we issued a check worth 3800 means 200 is discount received so instead of giving discount received amount 200 directly he has given like this we issued a check to sudhir so what he does he goes to our bank he present the check and he takes the money bank balance is decreasing credit said we should write 23rd date we issued check to sudhir no right by sudhir account in discount column 200 rupees in bank column 3800 rupees next 25th date cash withdrawn from bank for office use 2800 suppose he has given cash withdrawn from bank 2800 so these two are same meaning is from the bank money is coming into the firm so this is contra entry if he gives cash withdrawn from bank for personal use then it is not a contra so this is contra entry two times we should write cash is coming into the firm so debit side cash column 2800 rupees contra entry c from bank we withdrew so bank balance decreases credit side bank column contra no c date is 25th debit side also 25th we wrote amount in cash column so here we should write bank account we wrote amount in bank column no here we have to write by cash account next 27th date wages 600 we paid wages to labor so from the firm cash is going credit side 27th date 600 in cash column cash is going so in cash column in particular column expenditure name we should write by wages account last day 30 received rent through paytm 200 rupees so from tenant we have to receive rent instead of paying in cash form or check form he paid through paytm so our bank account is linked with paytm no when he pays through paytm what happens from his bank account money will be debited and in our bank account money will be credited so our bank balance increases therefore debit said bank column 30 day 200 rupees in bank column income name to rent a received account all transactions we have posted in the cash book next step is balancing discount columns are memorandum columns we should not balance we should only total debit total is 200 rupees credit total 200 cash and bank columns we should balance first in rough notes we have to find out the totals of two sets cash columns debit total 20100 credit total 12300 credit total is less so difference 7800 credit side we should write in cash column bank also same debit total is more credit total is less so difference 4600 in bank column credit side for this two date is last date of the month 30 by for this two we have to write balance carry down two sides highest total we should write for cash highest total is 20100 rupees credit side also same for bank highest total is 11200 credit side also same as you are a student only for november month they have given the transactions when you really work in any organization every month you have to prepare cash book like this so next month is december for next month this balance carried down amounts we should pay credit side balance carried down scheme we have to write on debit side date is next date of this date 1st december 2023 
2018 we are bringing balances now therefore we should write to balance brought down in cash column 7800 rupees in bank column 4600 rupees so what is the meaning of these two answers on 1st november 2018 in our firm 10000 cash balance is there in november month we received 2500 4800 2800 so total amount is 20100 From this amount, in November month we paid eighteen hundred, three thousand five hundred, six thousand four hundred, six hundred. So at the end of November month, with us seven thousand eight hundred should be there as per accounts books. So when you physically count the cash, same amount should be there. Similarly, on first November eighteen, in our bank account five thousand rupee balance is there. In November month we deposited six thousand and two hundred. So from this amount we withdrew three thousand eight hundred and two thousand eight hundred. At the end of the month, in our bank account four thousand six hundred should be there as per our triple column cash book. We compare this balance with the balance of pass book which is prepared by bank people. So if a bank balance as per pass book. And the bank balance as per cash book. If both are same on 30 November 18, then okay. If both are not same, we have to prepare BRS Bank Reconciliation Statement. That is another lesson. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.